wanted to be a pilot from a young age. I think I was always, um, I always loved planes, always loved going in planes, and uh, I didn't want a hockey to turn down an opportunity of me pursuing my other dream as well. So uh, once I knew I could do uh, this while playing hockey, it was a no-brainer. Uh, it's a really long process. Um, so again, you start with your uh, just basic flight school, your PPL, private pilot's license. And um, you could fly even, not even taking the exam, but I can't fly currently because the weather in the winter is uh, really rough and hard, so you can't really fly. But um, right now, you do the, I'm doing the ground school portion of it. And then once the spring comes, I'm gonna try to get some hours. And uh, to get your private pilot's license, you get up to 45 hours. And then you take the flight test. And once you pass the flight test and the PPL exam, you're a private pilot. And um, again, and there's just stuff step by step by step. But when Jacob arrived here, he told me that he was very passionate about becoming a pilot. So I thought, this is going to be tricky. This is not something that anyone has requested before. So uh, thanks to his mom doing a lot of research, um, some help from Valerie in the league doing a lot of research, we found him an online pilot school. And that's what he's doing. It's not your standard timeline for a course. It's a lot more intensive. Um, very high standards um, in order to move on, in order to pass the course in general. Um, and yeah, eventually he's going to need to get some flying time. So luckily we do have a flight school here near Moncton. We found a local tutor um, and, and he's making it work. Looking at planes at a young age, I mean, I've always fell in love with it, the designs and all that. And just I've always been dreaming of flying one of those things one day. And, uh, I had the chance actually in the summer to do a little introduction flight in a little Cessna 172 and that really shows you if you really like flying or not and I, I just fell in love with the, the whole aspect of flying, just the, the bumps and all that, learning how to recover, it, it was just an unbelievable experience and I just really, really can't wait for what's come in the future. It's multidisciplinary because you, you're like meteorology, physics, lots of math, um, maps, geography, like it's kind of like all of the different dimensions of education combining into one. So he's really having to learn a lot of different skills and topics. Well, my mom has always pushed me hard in school. I mean, I, school was always hard for me. I always didn't want to do it. I didn't want to study. I didn't want to do that. And she was always on me. She was pushing me. And there was some, she was just, there were some punishments. There was some all that. But all in, all in the end, it worked out because uh, she just, She's uh, like the old school way. She really pushes you to um, do really good in your studies. And she's always said, you gotta be able to do something outside of hockey as well. And uh, she's really uh, proud of me of going this route. And um, I just couldn't be more happy with her support as well. So I want to uh, eventually be a cargo or airline pilot, but talking about the pilots, their future can change what they want to do, but uh, I just can't, can't wait and uh, just being able to tour the world and do all this and the lifestyle is just unbelievable and that's why I fell in love.